Hello everyone, today I will show you the solution for the issue of not being able to run the game River Town Factory after installation. First, I have categorized the possibilities of this game not being able to run into four types. The first type is the lack of the .NET Core library, which results in a red cross error pop-up and prompts us to download it. The second error is the inability to read the GLFW DLL. The third type is related to our hardware not being able to run the OpenGL, and it pops up a WGL message. Lastly, if the game can run, but in a distorted state upon opening. Let's start with the first and second types, one being the lack of the .NET Core library, and the other being unable to load GLFW. First, we go to the Steam library and find Rivertown Factory. We right-click and select Manage, then click Browse Local Files, which will open the game file directory. Inside, we find a folder called Redist, which contains relevant libraries. For the case of lacking the .NET Core library, we select to install DoNetX64 or DoNetX86. If you are using an x64 system framework, install x64, and for x86, install x86. The second case is similar, can't read GLFW DLL, requiring the installation of the VC++ Redist library. For x64, install x64, and for x86, install x86. This issue might occur due to a system reinstallation, skipping the library installation during game installation, or some other reasons where the libraries were not installed. Simply installing them should resolve the issue, which is relatively simple. Now, let's address the situation where our hardware cannot run the OpenGL. If we have a dedicated graphics card, usually updating the graphics card driver should suffice. If it's an integrated graphics card, unless it's very out of time, updating the driver should also resolve the issue. Let's see how to update the graphics card driver. First, go back to the desktop and right-click this PC, then click Properties to open the System Information window. Scroll down to find and open the Device Manager. After opening, locate the Display Adapters to find out the current model of the graphics card and proceed to find the corresponding official driver. Generally speaking, there are dedicated graphics cards, such as NVIDIA's N-Card and AMD's A-Card. And then there's the integrated graphics from Intel when using a web browser. For example, if we have an N-Card, we search for the graphics card driver for that specific N-Card and we can find the official driver. After clicking on it, we can see the official download channel for the NVIDIA graphics card driver and then we can find our current graphics card model here. For example, if I have the RTX 3080, we can find the RTX 30 series. And then we can find the 3080. For instance, if we have a 1660, we find the 10 series, then find the 1660 related graphics card. Select it, choose the version, like if I have Windows 11, I select Windows 11, then click search. And then on this page, we click download and install. If it's an A card, then we still search for the AMD graphics card driver, and we need to remember there are quite a lot of ads here. We still find the official AMD address, click on it, and then we come to a page like this. Click on the graphics card or professional graphics card, then find our corresponding graphics card. Like the 5000 series and download, then click submit. Here we choose our current corresponding Windows version, and then we can proceed with the download. For the integrated graphics from Intel, it's the same process. We search for the graphics card driver and then proceed with the download. I won't demonstrate this here.
Now let's go to the final issue, where our game can run, but the aspect ratio is incorrect. This is usually because we've connected another monitor. And the resolution or aspect ratio of that monitor is different from our current one, so it's returning an incorrect height, we just need to lock the resolution. We need to go into our Steam library just like before, browse the local files. Go into the Redist directory, and then there's a file called lock.ini. We need to copy that. Copy. Go back to the previous level, and then paste it. After pasting, we can open it, edit the file, and we'll find locked open equals true. If we don't need this feature, we change it to false. If we want to use it, then it's true. Then, we need to lock the resolution, width, and height. If you have a 4K display, change it to 4K, if it's 1080p, then change it to 1080p. After changing it, we save, and then when we open the game, it will work normally. So, these are the four possible situations we might encounter during game and the solutions for them. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope it has been helpful for you.